Welcome to Up at Night. I'm Tony. And I'm Borden. And it's Go-Go Power Ranger time. Oh, my God. It's Mighty Morphin time. It's Mighty Morphin time. Oh, my God. Yes. I've been fucking waiting for this. This podcast is about Power Rangers and later on about the Gears of War 4 experience that we had. And Gears of War in general. Um, But, yeah. So, (laughs) uh, we're going to start the first topic off. Yeah. Power Rangers. Mostly, I mean, yeah. We've been seeing a lot of the stuff pop up. Now, I don't know about you, but, like... How much Power Rangers have you watched? Like, did you watch the original When I series? grew up, I watched Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Right. I watched Power Rangers Turbo. I watched that Fuck one in yeah. space they had. I watched the one uh, Ninja Storm. I watched... So you watched a lot of them, I right? watched Jungle, the one in the jungle. See, you're a few years younger than me, so I think for you, you've got, a, you've got a little bit of a leg up on me because I watched Mighty Morphin... And then I it watched. It was not like, cool anymore at one point. Yeah, that's I the got thing, to keep yeah. watching because I was. Yeah, because you were younger and like it was. It's not even that it wasn't cool, but it was just like the quality on them kind of went down. And your standards get higher. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, but like totally. honestly though, like I was obsessed. Like I, I was like obsessed with Power Rangers. They as were a kid. so cool. Yeah, as, especially so cool. that. Like I remember, um, what was it? Uh, when the movie came out, I remember going as a Hall- that Halloween as the Black Ranger with like the. The ninja suit. I was the green like that. ranger. The frog. The green no, was red. always my I was favorite. Red. I was red. The green was yeah. Who was okay? So who is your favorite? Who is your favorite? Growing up, uh, it, it was a tie between red and white ranger. See, that's the thing for me. It was always green, and then it became white when he became the white ranger. Because I always loved the whole storyline where it was like he's originally like a bad guy, mm-hmm. and then he becomes like a good guy, and then. They were like he's like well I can't remember exactly how it went, but I think it was like when he was green ranger, he either got hurt or something bad happened, and like. Zordon had to like heal him or fix him or whatever and then like they ended up giving him new powers and that's how he became like the White Ranger or whatever. I always thought that was super dope because there was like a three or four episode build up where they were like they kept like cutting away to like um, Alpha and Zordon like working (laughs) on him or whatever or like doing whatever to him and then like they cut back to like the the Rangers doing their shit and like they were having all this problem with whoever they were fighting and then like finally they had the big reveal for the White Ranger and he showed up and you had like the fucking sword and like the the big tiger sword and everything like that man it seemed that every series that they did for Power Rangers there's always an extra Power Ranger that shows up halfway through that's way more badass I than the rest I can't remember of them. there was one that was a wolf Power Ranger and he was silver Oh, that's dope. Yeah, he was cool. Um, one of my favorite things that they did, uh, do you remember the episode in um, the original series when there was still the Green Ranger? There was this thing where they were fighting their way up this like mountain or something like that. And I can't remember what happened, but the Green Ranger had to leave. But he goes like this, and he gave the Red Ranger his armor. Oh, you know that the like gold, the, the gold, gold like neck shoulder thing? like chest piece? He like transferred it to him, and I was like, that was the coolest thing ever yeah, as a yeah, kid. Yeah. I was like, oh my fucking God. Yeah, um, I do remember that. Oh man, that shit was great. Do you remember the team up with uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? No, I don't There actually. was a team up. where like On my, TV? Yes. There was oh. a special where they had the guys in the costumes and the big t- Ninja Turtle costumes yeah. team up with them. There was also an episode where all the Red Rangers got together. No way. Yeah, through all the series. That's so cool. It's one of the only shows that gave... Zero Fox when oh, it came yeah. to making new story decisions. Like they would, just, <laughs> yeah. they would do anything they wanted well, to do. It's interesting where that show comes from because if you look back at like where it originally started, it's Japan. It's it's, Jap- it was yeah. a Japanese series. Like I mean, not it wasn't called like, Power, but like the Rangers idea, like the whole idea of like that team of like people in like the armor, and, like it was originally a Japanese TV show that they basically like took knocked off fight yeah. scenes. They take the fight scenes from him. Oh and yeah, exactly. The, the, the American story. Yeah, exactly. And I mean, I liked I liked all the uh, the stuff that you used to do for like I mean. As a kid, like it was, it was so cool. Even looking back now, the Mighty Morphin Power Ranger movie, their costumes were so cool. Oh, so yeah. much cooler because they weren't yeah. tights; they were wearing like armor. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, that was the thing too because I remember, like, yeah, the original series, it was tights and like whatever the helmet. The it was basically just a suit, a tights and a motorcycle helmet. Yeah. When you think about it, like that's hilarious. But like, yeah, when they did the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers movie, they gave them like the armor suits, like that actually had like. You think about it now; it's actually probably the most. Uh, well done superhero movie for the time. Really, it can it, it be. I mean, is right, and that's like, the other thing too. Like, um, this is before Spider Man. I was saying to Batman. someone, I was saying to someone Rambo. just when they showed the the new trailer uh, for the the new Power Rangers movie, it reminded me a lot of Chronicle almost, or like oh, yeah. almost like a yep. superhero movie totally. because, like, yeah, like it's got that thing where like they discover. They, like it's, I mean, but it's based on what the show is based on. Like you know, this alien thing crash lands on the planet, they discover it. 
I mean, in the original series, they didn't really have superpowers, I guess you could say. But, like, in a sense, you could almost argue that they did because they're, they're just teenagers, but they're fighting monsters. Mm -hmm. Like, they do use the Zords and stuff like that, obviously, which we'll get into. And the suits. But, but like, but, and the suits are, like, I guess armor. But, like, it was more so, unless it was the suits enhancing them, like... I like this idea that, like, because they're Power Rangers, like, they are the ones that are enhanced, like, super powered and everything like that. It's really cool. I have a theory on this, too. I, I see this movie going one of two ways. Um, I, I have a feeling it's going to feel a lot like, if it's successful, it's going to feel a lot like Man of Steel, where the general consensus is, that was a really enjoyable movie. That was well done. Yeah. Some people are going to be like, it's not it's not what Power Rangers are supposed to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or, Fuck off. Or, it's Fantastic Four, where all the trailers lead up, make it look really dope and, like, new and cool, and the yeah. whole movie fucking sucks. Better not go that way. I hope it doesn't. I'm hoping it doesn't not. look that way. I mean, uh, who knows, right? I mean, we're we're but still a ways. We in, have to be like, skeptical, right? Yeah, like, there's of no course. definitive. Of it's gonna be good, but no. As far as the characters look, like the guy that plays Red Ranger, I don't know these actors, any of these actors that well. No, no. But looking at these actors, I have a feeling I'm gonna really grow to like them. Like yeah. this, this Red Ranger looks like a pretty badass kind of dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like it. It, it is always funny that they still have kind of like the tropey things too, because there's like. Like, I mean, obviously they don't need to, but they they made the yellow and the pink ranger, like, two chicks. And, like, they, uh, like, is the one chick, the yellow ranger, is she, is, is, is say, so they do the same thing they did with the original, where it's, like, the black ranger's a black dude, and, like. The black ranger's a, a, either a black dude, and I think the, I think the blue ranger's an Asian dude. Is he now? Okay. Yeah. So they changed that around, but, like, I remember growing up, not, not, not really thinking about it growing up, but then looking back at it, like. Later on as a kid, or like later on as an adult, Pink Ranger's like, the white chick, the Yellow Ranger, Ranger's the Asian, Asian chick, chick, the Black, black Ranger was a black, black dude. dude, and you're like, Blue oh. Ranger's the like blue eyed Aryan dude, yeah, and yeah. then like Red Ranger was like kind of Hispanic, yeah, kind of Hispanic or like native or something, and you're like, they're kind of like. It reminds me of that. Um, you ever seen that uh, Key and Peele sketch with a Falcon? I think Rangers so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, black, like, yeah. black Falcon. He's like, yo. I'm not Black Falcon. I'm Green Falcon. You can see the color, of my, but they keep calling him Black, Black Falcon. Falcon. Oh my yeah. god, that shit's hilarious. Yep. If you haven't seen That's that, I look totally that what up. It is. Um, but yeah, like like I said, I just like the whole dynamic of like like the, the whole team thing. I and like I said, like we we haven't even touched on the Zords yet. Like I remember how cool it was growing up. Like when they'd be like, okay, like I I always laugh though because like it was almost useless for them to be separate. Mm -hmm. In a sense, like they never did any fighting where it was like. We could beat this in our normal Zords when we're just a separate. Why not just start as a Megazord? Like That's what I'm excited about, though, is that in this new movie, they have way more uh, effectiveness with CGI for yes. storytelling. Yes, so I'm hoping I'm hoping there's scenes where like they're in like almost like a Panther Zord or something, and they're fighting things with yeah. it, and then they combine at the very end. They come, but yeah, I, I hope that's kind of the, the thing too, because it would be nice to have at least like you said, like. A thing where they running around in their because like they they the shots that they've shown so far they did show them kind of like on their swords with like a little bit of like a teaser kind of shot of each of them so I'm hoping that there is more emphasis on like because remember in the movie they had more emphasis on them like running around as their individual swords fighting they're like flying in the crane one and like, yeah, yeah yeah and like what's his name jumping around the frog and like they're actually kicking ass in them and then when they go to fight what's his name Ivan Ooze or whatever uh, yep. they they actually have to combine combine and like that was cool and. I remember, do you remember, like, later on when they did, like, the whole, like, they brought in that, uh, what was it, like, a Brontos the brontosaurus-looking thing? Yeah. Where, like, they the had, like, one the big, black and gold. well, there was, because there was, what's his name when he came on, uh, Tommy, mm -hmm. we had the green, the dragon sword, and then, like, he would come in and just bomb shit and be like, peace, and then <laughs> drop his microphone and leave, <laughs> but then, like, there was the thing where... There was that like tank thing that they would like merge yep. the, yep. the the Megazord. I actually with. got that at a garage sale. As a oh toy. fuck yes! Yeah, I had a Megazord, like the original Megazord. Toy I never as a kid. once as a kid had a Megazord. Man, I have the best Megazord story about red. that that toy actually because like that was my favorite favorite toy growing up. And I I grew up with an older sister. She's about nine years older than me. So like by the time I'm watching this, she's in her teenage years, right? So like and her and I didn't get along. We get along great now. We're we're, we're it's like that though when you're yeah up, of course. Right? We, but like. She used to, like, hate me. Like, I used to hate her a whole bunch <laughs> when we were kids because we, we didn't get along. Because we were, like, pretty far apart in age. Yeah. Plus, I was born on the same day as her, so I kind of stole her birthday. Oh. My bad. Um, How does but, that yeah, happen? I don't know. Um, Is it a holiday when you guys were conceived? Yeah, that's 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 the like, thing. <laughs> but we're not going to get into that. <laughs> um, we have different fathers, though, so technically it'd be my mother. would be like, okay, she's got a time. She wants to. <laughs> but, um, no, okay, so I remember... When I was a kid, I had, like, the Megazord, and I loved that toy growing up. Like, it was my favorite toy. And my sister, one of her friends, I don't remember who it was now, 
Um, I remember like they were hanging out in like where my room is now, like in that like it used to be like rec- like more of a rec room. Um, and like they and I whatever because like I wanted to hang out with her because like I thought they were older, they were cool, yeah. and stuff like that. But they would like pick on me. And God, stuff were like that. you wrong? Yeah, I know. God, was I wrong? <laughs> so like one of the dudes, I don't remember who it was now, like one of her friends would he picked me up and would hold me upside down by my leg, and the other one took my um Megazord toy and he took a lighter and he burnt the like top of the helmet what or whatever. Dick. Yeah, they were total assholes. But like for the longest time he had like a my Megazord had a burn mark on like the top of the helmet because one Some of Carrie asshole. Lynn's friends, I don't fucking remember who, like just Let's burnt the shit out of my toy. And I was like so mad at her for so uh, long yeah. about that. Um because like it was like my favorite toy growing up. But like like I said, I remember getting like the Tiger Zord um, the, um, the Megazord, like the, I think I had the dragon as well. And like, I think, or no, what was the set that had the, where the red ranger had like the big dragon, the long red dragon. I don't know. That was from one of the series, but I, I watched that series as well. And whichever one it was, um, you could take the, dra- the, the dragon would, um, fold up and transform into like a standing, like robot fighter kind of thing. It was fucking sweet. Yeah. It, was, it was like more of like a, like Chinese dragon, like, you know, like the long, yeah, like, like serpent, like, yeah, like, like a serpent type dragon. And like, I said, yeah, like it had like arms and legs and stuff. And it was like almost like a transformer where it would like transform into like this big robot. That's what was great about it. Is that, that show, as far as a, a toy sale. Kind oh of my thing, God. Toys were the was, best. Was, it was that, it was that nice yeah. sweet spot between an action figure and a transformer. Which is a kid, like, mm-hmm. all that could have made that better is, like, somehow mixing Lego with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. honestly, but it, it was that nice, that nice in between. Uh, I'm still, I'm, I was, I've been thinking since we started this about uh, Power Rangers Turbo. My favorite Power Ranger that was ever the Blue Ranger yeah. was the one that was a kid. And when he would wear the band and turn into a Power Ranger, he'd become the size of everybody oh, else. Oh, so he's like Shazam almost? Almost, yeah. Yeah. Totally. That was my favorite. Just because you were a kid and you were yeah, like, like, man, I could you know be a Power Ranger. I could Ranger. fucking join the Power yeah. Rangers. If yeah. I had the if I had the Transformer, I could be one. Look yeah. how competent he becomes when he puts the wristband <laughs> on. Yeah, he could do things. Dude, we got those in the other day. The um, the wrist, the, the wrist, wrist thing, and like you press the button, it's like doot doot, and, there's, 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 and like you'll get like a thing from Zordon, and be like, Rangers, <laughs> need your help now, and it's like, oh my god, fuck yes, we need to. Okay, so uh, I don't know if we said it before on the show, but we were playing Destiny like a week ago. Oh my god. And they had their Iron Banner event, and we got this oh genius god. idea to all make ourselves look like Power Rangers. So we color coded our characters. Like one of us was red, one of us was green, one of us was blue, one of us was white, black. We, we made sure to wear camos that were uh, mostly the color we wanted and mostly white. Yes. And we got we looked like Power Rangers. We well, looked like I still Power have like um I still have the screenshot, the screenshot of, us landing in. of us landing in on that match that we did together in Iron Banner and it's hilarious because like this the six of us are lined up in a row and it looks like a team of fucking power just because especially the armor and stuff like because we were all titans the majority of us right? I was so, a hunter which worked out great because the hunt like we were titans so I'm wearing like this bird helmet uh Rusty was wearing like this horned like <laughs> goat helmet and like uh Nimki was wearing a wolf helmet <laughs> and, like yeah. it just worked and like you were the white ranger but you were like a hunter, so you had like this, like the celestial nighthawk. Yeah, which and it was looks like almost like it's got the roundness with gold that, on it. Yeah, and, it's and then got you the had gold. the chest, and like it, it looked great. It looked awesome. It was fucking. It was. Hilarious. And not only did we do that, but as we were loading in, we'd play the Power Ranger theme song. So yeah. All you hear is down, 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 yeah, down, and it's like I, coming in, <laughs> and we land, and it's like go, go, Power Rangers. We would start matches and just steamroll teams. Oh my god, yeah, we just were going totally destroying. Shotguns, I think it was just the, honestly. I think it was just the level of excitement that we all had because we were fucking doing it. And it'd be like when we when we wanted to call in like for everyone to use our specials, we call we'd call in our Zords. We'd be like, all right, guys, it's time to call in the Zords. It'd be like everyone pop supers and go nuts. Yeah, so Toby put down a bubble and we're all in it. We just like everyone pop golden gun in their hammers and we all just <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, yeah, it, it was, was it was a blast. I suggest you do that. It's the most <laughs> amazing. thing. I just I really really hope. That another team noticed that. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, totally. I really hope because like they don't see you line up unless you're doing like the like the specific yeah. PvP matches. But I really hope someone was like, that guy's like all green and that guy's all white and that guy's all red. And that guy's like, like I hope someone yeah. was like, these motherfuckers are Power right. Rangers. All I wish, all I wish would have happened is that if you went near them in the vicinity, it would do what like Halo did or Call of Duty did in the early days, where your microphone would be picked up by the other team the closer you were. Oh yeah, so they could hear that. It would have been like a. It would have been a horror movie. It would have been like, oh god, these guys are kicking our ass, and all I hear is 
Power Rangers! Power Rangers. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> oh my god, they're coming! <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. But yeah, we steamrolled it completely. Uh, and having Halo 5 kind of have a mixed reviews. Yep. Um, and Tomb Raider being kind of an unsuccessful launch on there as well. They haven't really had these like hard hitting exclusives uh, yeah. like they're, they're known for. With Gears of War being this kind of title, yeah. we're getting back there. We're oh, getting, yeah, for yeah. sure. This is probably one of the best titles they've had ex- as far as exclusives go. So hopefully that and they Forza. Like, I mean, Forza... Forza's like said, never having, done anything wrong other than the I was going to say, like, they, they apparently they're having problems with their PC port, but it's because they're porting to PC and not, like... Building for PC. Yeah, exactly. That's your problem. Which was the biggest problem, apparently, of what they're having. But if, but the game on Xbox One, apparently, is absolutely glorious. Like, yep. it's just gorgeous. It always is. Um, yeah, and that's the thing. is like, the, the Forza games have always been pretty... They're um, literally my favorite. I won't play another racing game because Forza's Ruined everything. Just ruined everything like, else what's for the you. Point? Like, I get in a game and I'm like, okay, when do I get to customize my car? When can I make it look awesome? Yeah, I, like, exactly. Put words on it and stuff. And then you're like, I can't. Oh. Oh. Uh, well, never mind then. I'm not playing this. Yeah, no. It's like <laughs> you said, like, yeah, Forza's kind of like been the top dog as far as like, because like Gran Turismo used to be that. And I feel like they went way too technical and not as much. Like, whereas like, because like Forza Motorsport can be like that, I guess. But like Horizon's that like really good, like, it's basically what. Need for Speed should have evolved into, mm-hmm. but they didn't because they suck now. Well, and Forza, Forza's got the etiquette too, where it's like, if you play Forza Motorsport, it's this like beautiful like, here's your car. I'm a British narrator. Yeah, yeah. everything has such a finesse to it, and the yeah. menus and the way the game works, and how you rank up and stuff, and how your car just plays, and how the maps are laid out. It's yeah, very, like a very adult styled game, and then like Forza Horizon puts a little more fun into it. Yes, it definitely does. It so, definitely does. Like, it's just yeah, yeah. I, uh, the one thing that you were saying, uh, going back to Gears of War, I thought it was interesting. You were saying like they almost didn't have the uh, yeah. Uh, I was looking into chainsaws. some background stories. Apparently, they almost didn't put the chainsaw gun into Gears of War. Which how weird would that be? Like that's such a that iconic, is a staple. the Lancer is that? such an iconic like. There's no other game that's done that. Yeah, like the Lancer is such an iconic gun, and like I said, like just having that chainsaw and like that's such a big thing about that game. Like running up and just. Fucking doing the whole like you have a dickhead down. that's been killing your teammates for a whole match. And yeah, you're just like fuck you. You sneak up behind him and get that <laughs> chainsaw up behind him. And you're yeah, like, yeah. But even just like the playing the campaign and like running up and like like I was watching you play and like you fight like waves of those um, new enemies, whatever they're they called. Are. Uh, they're called juvies because they're like juveniles. Yeah. So they're like yeah. There's like just these enemies that swing at you. They're like, yeah. They're like, basically zombies. Like, like the like, thralls or yeah zombies. thralls or zombies. And you just I saw you like just holding literally the, just running through yeah. and just. Chopping down, yeah. like you're not even using, not even using bullets, just chopping down waves of them. And I was like, yeah, yeah. and like that, that is some of those things. Like, but the vi- like that level of like fucking like brutality and stuff like that. That's like what, that's always been like what Gears of War. Well, that's been what about. makes co-op even better is when you know you have you go up and you chainsaw one guy and you're you're got a guy coming up behind you and your teammate just like runs at him with the retro lancer and just stabs him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And everyone yeah, works yeah. together just to massive. <laughs> you're like curve stomping people. Yeah, like, it's 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 it always is, been it's like awesome. that. Awesome. It's always been such a cool cool series. Um, I think that wraps it up. Yeah, uh, we're gonna go get a VR PSVR headset now. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I just realized like I could. All right. Um, so maybe you'll see us put up uh, something uh, with that. Maybe, maybe our next video instead of a podcast, you can just we'll record ourselves playing it. Oh my god, that'd be so much fun. We'll figure it out. Anyway, thanks for watching this week, guys. If you haven't uh, checked it out yet, go check out this week's news video. Um, and we will see you next week. Love you.